So again, if we want to solve, based on those five techniques we had, right, we can say that. We have a cosine of theta. Let's isolate it. Just use our inverse operation. There's only one cosine of theta, so let's just undo everything that's being applied to that. Agreed? Right? If there's more than one, we don't want to do that. But since there's only one cosine of theta, I'm just going to add square root of 3. So 2 cosine of theta equals the square root of 3. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. And now I say cosine of theta equals the square root of 3 over 2. Now again, we don't want to use the inverse function because that's going to restrict it to one answer. And we recognize that, as we looked at the graph, cosine of theta is equal to the square root of 3 infinite many times. right? But let's just think about the unit circle for a second. Because I think I told you for a, I said, let's solve it from between 0 and pi. For b, I said, solve on the interval of 2 pi. And let's say these are all different like multiple choice questions. And then this one, I said, find all the solutions. OK, so to really understand this problem, let's just draw the unit circle. Like, I like the graph, but I think sometimes the unit circle is just going to be easier to understand. We know the graph looks like this, and there's a straight line. It just intersects it infinite many times, right? All right, so when is cosine of theta equal to the square root of 3 over 2? Pi over 6, right? You guys ah, warmed up a little bit? OK. And it's not going to equal pi over 6 until back over here. Agreed? So the only one on the interval 0 to pi from here to here is pi over 6. Right? Just one answer. Right? Even though 5 pi over 6 is, uh, or I'm sorry, 11 pi over 6 is also a solution, it's not on the interval that I just restricted. But for b, that is the interval from 0 to 2 pi, which is basically everything that's on the unit circle. So actually, I'll use a, let me actually use set notation here. So this would be pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. That's pi over 6, and then that angle is 11 pi over 6. Yes? OK. And then what if I said find all of the solutions? Right, so I would put both. But remember. There's now, now there's no longer any restriction, right? So what would I need to add to get to pi over 6 to get to my next solution? 2 pi, right? You can't, you can't add anything from there. So therefore, this would be equal. So this would be pi over 6 plus 2 pi n. And this one would be 11 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n. And again, remember, n can be positive or negative. We can go in the negative direction as well. Anybody have any questions on that?